You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for red buckeye, Aesculus pavia. Red buckeye is a small tree which is native to southern and eastern regions in the United States. A mature tree grows about 20 to 25 feet tall with a maximum trunk size of 4 to 6 inches in diameter. This occurs after years of slow growth. Hummingbirds enjoy the showy red flowers. During midwinter, the leaf buds are prominent as the terminal buds are larger in diameter than the stem which supports them. The bud is covered with large scales. Further down the branch from the terminal bud, you can find a pair of leaf buds. Notice how the buds are opposite each other on the branch. Also, check out the white lenticels dotting the branch. In early spring, the red buckeye leaf bud scales expand and the buds swell. Here's a pair of swelling terminal buds. Sometimes there will be a single terminal bud, sometimes a pair of buds. Leaves begin to emerge from the pair of terminal buds as well as from a single terminal bud and from the buds along the branch. Observe how the branch buds are smaller than the terminal bud. The leaves grow larger and push up from between the expanded bud scales. Sometimes the leaves catch on a leaf bud scale until they grow enough to pop free from their enclosing scales. The underside of the emerging leaves is very light in color, almost white. We begin to see evidence of the compound leaf with its palmate arrangement of leaflets. The compound leaves continue growing. Each compound leaf has a supporting stem, a petiole. These leaves are a burgundy red. The petioles are now more obvious. The leaves are clearly growing opposite each other. The initial red leaves begin turning green. Eventually, the leaflets are bright spring green color, while the petioles remain red. New leaves tend to droop, and the leaflet edges curl under. The late summer leaves are flatter and a stronger green color. By late summer, the red buckeye leaves turn red or yellow and or brown. Each compound leaf has five leaflets, all originating from the same point. This is described as a palmate leaf. Two of the leaflets are usually smaller than the other leaflets. Each leaflet has a slightly toothed or serrate margin. The leaf shape is obovate. The pinnate venation includes a single central vein running the length of the leaflet. The underside of the leaflet is lighter in color. If you run your fingers over it, you can feel the small hairs or pubescent texture of the underside. Each leaf has a long petiole, the leaf stalk, connecting it to the branch. Again, notice the opposite leaf arrangement. The flower buds are nestled within the emerging leaves in spring. Looking down onto the beginning flower buds. Since flower buds only grow at the tips of branches, that explains why the terminal buds are so much larger than the side buds along the branch. The side buds will only develop leaves, while the terminal buds become both leaves and flowers. In spring, the red buckeye's red flower buds stand out among the green leaves. The red petals start pushing out from the red sepals. Let's peek inside an opening flower. There's a white pistil and some red stamens packed together prior to their extending outwards. The pistil becomes exserted. It extends beyond the flower petals. 
A flower is about one and a half inches long, with lengthy sepals united into a tube, and frilly petals. This flower has fresh stamens with bright red anthers extending beyond the petals. These stamens are no longer fresh. They have shriveled. The inflorescence arrangement is referred to as a panicle. Each group of flowers consists of several pedicels, little flower stalks arising in sequence from a point along the primary flower stalk, or peduncle. An inflorescence in spring. This red buckeye is covered with its inflorescences. When the flower dies, its stamens and pistils turn brown, along with the petals. Petals drop from the plant. If the flower was successfully fertilized, its ovary immediately begins to swell. The fuzzy fruit retains the stringy pistil. Observe the dying flower, as well as the small fruit with its pistil. If the flower does not become fertilized, it drops from the plant entirely. We can see the pedicels, which are left after the flowers die. Since flowers mature from the bottom of the inflorescence toward the tip, the fruits develop in the same sequence. Look at the stubs along the peduncle, where flowers once grew. Red buckeye grows fewer fruits than flowers. In early summer, the fruits grow with their soft, fuzzy covering. As the fruits enlarge, they turn a tan color. The seed capsule continues to swell throughout the summer months. The pedicels thicken to support the fruits. You may also notice that the red leaf stalks, the petioles, have now turned a yellow-green color, and some leaves show damage. Here are some seed capsules in late summer, fully mature in overall size. In early fall, with leaves dying. In mid-fall, the seed capsules begin to split, revealing the seeds, or buckeyes. At this point, the seed may be white or a golden brown. There may be only one seed per capsule, or there may be two seeds. This image shows the splitting seed capsules, a dried inflorescence peduncle, and a yellow petiole from a leaf which has lost its leaflets. The capsules release their seeds. Empty husks remain attached to the branch tip. Or, the weight of the fruits may cause the branch tip to snap off and drop all that weight to the ground. The ground below a red buckeye will be littered with fallen seeds. Initially, they are a lovely golden color. Buckeyes are rather large seeds, and you can see why someone might refer to them as nuts, although they are definitely not edible. Eventually, the toxic seeds turn dark brown. Red buckeye's bark is a light gray color. Raised lenticels are scattered throughout the surface. Looking from the bottom of the tree toward the top, check out the bark, its color, its texture, and the lenticels. If you look carefully in late summer, you'll find the terminal leaf buds growing between this year's leaf petioles. The buds are more obvious in late fall when the leaflets have fallen and while the leaf petioles remain attached to the branches for a little longer. Look down in the fall and you'll see the dying leaves and seeds under the red buckeye tree. In late fall, and possibly into the winter months, empty dried seed capsules cling to the branch tips. Remember those dark brown seeds lying on the ground? Next spring, if all goes well, one or more of the seeds will sprout into a new red buckeye sapling. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Esculus pavia, also known as red buckeye. 
Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of red buckeye, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.